Hey, what's up everyone? I'm gonna give you a quick little tip on how I work to make complex chords in a really easy way. So it has to do with the relative major and minor relationship between every chord you'll find on the piano. So I'm just gonna start off with like C major. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my C major in my right hand and I'm gonna go an octave down and play A minor in the left. And really all this lesson needs you to have some familiarity with is how to make some four note seventh chords in both the major form and the minor form. Okay, so if you keep your right hand in C major mode, so to speak, while you're improvising, and keep your left hand in A minor mode while you're improvising, you're generally speaking going to be in a sort of a safe place to play and improvise around because those chords are so complementary. Even just take, for example, me playing a C major seven in my right hand and an A minor seven in the left. And that you can make broken arpeggios using just those two simple chords, but your music is going to sound really diverse and kind of intricate, even though really all you're doing is taking two fairly elementary chord shapes and layering them together. So that's something that I use just to kind of boost my inspiration if I'm ever just looking to come up with some ideas at the piano. Um, you know, maybe I'll even, let's try it, let's try it in a more intricate key. So take this, this is a F sharp major chord and the relative minor of the F sharp major is E flat minor or uh, D sharp minor. And you can make some really interesting sounding chords by just kind of playing with your simple one chord. So here's my one chord in my right hand, that's gonna be F sharp major. My one chord in my left is going to be E flat minor. Very complementary sounds. Together they form a minor seventh chord. But you can move to your four chord in each version. So my four chord in my E flat is gonna be a a flat minor and my four chord in my F sharp is going to be a B major and you have sounds so much more complicated than it really is. So it's almost like a combination of hand independence that I'm talking about here, but also mind independence, because you want to get to a place where you're able to improvise in the mindset of right-handed major mode, left-handed minor mode, or you can swap and, and, and make some other cool combinations. All right, so that's a simple way that I use to make my chords uh, sound more complicated than they actually are. So just sort of thinking about what's my left hand doing, what's my right hand doing, it all comes down to these simple triads and then you build from there. So this works with any key, this works with any different type of chords, there's no straight up rules to how to apply this logic, so you can kind of find your own way through it. Thanks for watching and check out some more lessons from us.